This is the Unit 1 review for Modules 1, 2, and 3, Problems 1 through 12. Number 1, which situation would most likely be represented by a rational number that is not an integer? So remember, rational numbers are numbers that can be written as a fraction, a over b, where b can't be 0. So 9 tenths is a rational number but it's not an integer. So the question is saying, can be represented by a rational number that is not an integer. And an integer is a whole number, for example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth. And it's opposite, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So these are all integers. So the question is saying it needs to be a rational number, but not an integer. So whole numbers and their opposites. So the number of students in a classroom, well, those can only be whole numbers. Numbers of keys on a keyboard, again, only whole numbers. Price of a pencil, well, price of a pencil could be um, a whole number, like $1. Um, but most likely, it, um, it could it, it'd be like one dollar or fifty three cents. It wouldn't even be one dollar. Um, but if you look at B score on a math test, like nine out of ten, or ten out of ten is a whole number, but it's still rational. But most likely, it's going to be a, um, a rational number. 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10, and so forth. Problem 2. The temperature in Chicago was negative 5 degrees Celsius on Monday. Which of the following temperatures is lower than negative 5 degrees Celsius? So here's a number line, and to the left are negative values. And remember, the greater the negative number, the smaller the value. So as we go to the left, the lower the temperature. As we go to the right, the higher the temperature. And so we're looking for a temperature lower than five, negative five degrees. Well, here's negative five degrees. For it to be lower, you'd have to go to the left, which is negative six degrees Celsius. Number three, to which set or sets of numbers does number five belong to? So remember whole numbers, think of whole basketballs, zero basketballs, one basketball, five, 83, 4.0. Those are whole numbers. Integers are whole numbers and they're opposites. So we have seven and negative seven. And rational numbers are any number that can be written as a fraction A over B. For example, five can be written as five over one negative one half, one and eight tenths, so that'd be right, written as a one and eight over 10. But the only one that belongs, uh, five belongs to whole, integers, and rational. Number four, which number has the same absolute value as negative two? Mm -hmm. So if we look at the definition of absolute value, Absolute value is the distance between a number and zero on a number line. So if we look here, zero and negative five, and zero and positive five, they're both five units away from zero. So what has the same distance from zero as negative two? That would be two, because the absolute value of negative two is two, and the absolute value of two is two. They both equal two. Same with if we looked at absolute value of five is five, absolute value of negative five is five. They both are five units away from zero. Number five, what is the opposite of negative five? So here is five, the opposite of negative five would be positive five. It's not like absolute value, the distance from zero, it's what's the opposite, because opposite of five would be negative five, but the absolute value of five 
would not be negative five, it would be five. So opposites are where they are, um, same distance on the other side of zero on a number line. Number six, which number line shows negative two and its opposite? So here's negative two and its opposite. Here's negative two, but the opposite is not. Looks like maybe negative five tenths. Here's negative two, this is positive maybe five tenths. And this one doesn't even have negative two on the number line graphed. Number seven, what is the greatest common factor or GCF of 24 and 42? Well, here's the factors of 24. You always start with one and the number, which is 24, because 24 divided by one is 24. Then if you didn't know that all even numbers are divisible by two, you can use your calculator. 24 divided by two is 12, because two times 12 is 24. Then then I'm gonna try three, 24 divided by three is eight, eight times three is 24. Then four, 24 divided by four is six, four times six is 24. And you can, again, if you're not sure which factors, you always put it in the calculator and just start from one and then go to two, three, four. Now let's try five, 24 divided by five will not give us a whole number. So 25 is not a factor because there's no number multiplied by five that will give us 24. So here are the factors of 24 and now the factors of 42. Again, we start with one. 42 divided by one is 42. 42 divided by two is 21 because two times 21 is 42. 42 divided by three is 14. Three times 14 is 42. If I tried four, 42 divided by four will not give me a whole number. So 42 is not a factor and five is not a factor. But six, 42 divided by six is seven. Six times seven is 42. So now we need to find the greatest common factor. Well, one, and one, one is a common factor, two is a common factor, three is a common factor, but the greatest common factor is six. There are no other factors after six that they have in common. So, the GCF for 24 and 42 is 6. Number 8, which of the following statements is not true? You always need to make sure you're paying attention when you read it, reading it. Um, and this one is very important because it says it's not true. Well, is negative 5 less than negative 4? Well, remember, as the values decrease, so you get a smaller value as the numbers get farther left on the number line. So this is left, right. So as we go to the left, the values decrease. So here's negative five, and here's negative four. As you go to the right, they become, the larger's become greater. So negative five is less than negative four. And here we have four is less than five. Remember the alligator mouth eats the greater value, or the inequality sign eats the greater value. So here, four is less than five, because as you go to the right, the values increase. And then D, negative two, here's negative two, is less than five, well, here's five. Well, negative values will always be less than positive values. And here, we have negative two is less than negative three. Well, here's negative two, and it's not less than negative three, because again, remember, the farther left you go, the smaller the value. So th negative three is um, less than negative two, not negative two is less than great, less than negative three. In order to make it true, it would be negative two is greater than negative three. Number nine, which of the following numbers is farthest from zero on the number line? So we have negative three. So negative three is, think of jumps, one, two, three units away from zero. And then let's try uh, B, negative two. Here's negative two. It's one, two units away from zero. And then we try C, two, one, 
two units away from zero, and D is one, two, three, four units away from zero. So D is the farthest from zero. Number 10, which of the following shows numbers ordered from least to greatest? All, underline it, highlight it, whatever you need to do to remember that you're going from least to greatest. And if you can create a number line, if that helps you, because remember, the farther left it is on the number line, the smaller the value is. The farther to the right, the greater the value. So if we look at negative two, Here's negative 2 on the number line, then negative 1, then 0, then 1. These go in order from least to greatest. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, and then positive 1. That's in order from least to greatest. If we look at B, you go negative 2, which is the farthest left, the, the smallest value. Then it goes positive 1 then negative one. Well, that's not going in order from least to greatest. And if we look at D, we start at negative, uh, positive one, zero, negative one, negative two. That's an order, but that's going from greatest to least. Number 11, the temperature in Vancouver is negative eight degrees Celsius. In Montreal, it is negative four degrees Celsius. In Seattle, it is negative 6 degrees Celsius. And in Buffalo, it is negative 10 degrees Celsius. Which city is the coldest? Well, remember, as you go to the left, there's smaller values. And so if we were to go to the right, they become lar they're larger values. So think to the right, it would be 100 degrees. That would be very hot. But as you go to the left, it gets colder and colder and colder. So here's Montreal, Seattle, Vancouver, Buffalo. Buffalo at negative 10 degrees Celsius is the coldest city. Number 12, what is the least common multiple of 12 and 9? Least common multiple and greatest common factor students uh, confuse all the time. They mix them up. But multiples are, think of math facts, like 1 times 12 is 12, 2 times 12 is 24, 3 times 12 is 36. Or, if you don't know your multiples, the multiplication, then you can just add 12 plus 12 is 24. Then we add 12 to that plus 12, and we get 36. And nines, we're just, we just keep adding nines. Nine plus nine is 18. 18 plus nine is 27. 27 plus nine is 36. And the first multiple that they have in common, which is the least common multiple, is 36. So the LCM for 12 and nine is 36.